Hey guys! So first things first, we're going to go in and prime our lids. And as usual, I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Cream Puff. It's applying a generous layer of that over my eyelids to cover any veins, redness, and help the eyeshadow show up as true to colour as possible. So first things first, I'm going in with the initial eyeshadow. I'm taking my Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette and taking made for each other and cream and applying that to the inner third of my eye socket and I'm also actually creating kind of like a smoky wing liner effect on the outer corner of my eye as well. This is a transition shade so you don't have to be too perfect with this just kind of planting the seed of the eye look that we're creating today. Next I'm taking Hunts from the same palette on a pencil brush and I'm smoking out the outer corner lash line area. I'm bringing it out pretty far as well. I want it to be quite dramatic. Uh, if you guys want a more subtle kind of look with this, then you don't have to drag out the wing liner as far. But I want to go full glam today. So I did create a pretty thick, dramatic, kind of smoky liner look. And you don't have to be too perfect with the outer corner flick either because we are going to clean it up with concealer later. For the inner socket area, I'm going in and applying hunts there as well with a pencil brush. We are going to clean up the eyelid with concealer so you don't have to be too perfect with this. And I just blend out any harsh lines and edges with a fluffy blending brush from Eeg Show. To deepen up the eye socket and outer corner a little bit more, I'm going in with Jax, which is a beautiful kind of red tone, like a very deep crimson red. And I'm going in and deepening up the same areas that we've done with the orange shadow. Then I go back in with Hunts on that same Eeg Show fluffy blending brush. I just smoke out the edges of Jack so it's a bit more smoky and not so harsh. Then I'm going to take my concealer again, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And on a little eye concealer brush, I'm actually going in and carving out the crease. Just with this step, however, don't bring the concealer over the smoky wing liner on your outer corner. I'm actually keeping it quite defined along the socket area and in inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take White Lies, which is like a matte white eyeshadow and I'm just kind of setting the concealer on the lid with that. It doesn't need to be too opaque. You can use a different color if you'd prefer. I just thought the matte white was complementary with the look. It didn't take away too much from the feature which is like the smoky liner. For wing liner today I'm going in with my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Eyeliner and I'm creating quite a dramatic wing as you guys can see. And I actually do end up extending the inner corner of my eye with this liquid liner as well. Um, but I don't do it yet because I want to put a little bit of concealer in that area before I do go in with the wing liner. But if you guys are doing this after you've done your base makeup, then go ahead and do that little extra inner corner pizzazz. <laughs> to smoke out the winged liner a little bit more, I'm going in with Abyss and actually also going with a bit of soda pot, which is that brown next to the black. And I smoke out the wing liner quite close. I want the orange and the red to show through. So I'm keeping it quite tight along the wing liner. But just smoking it out a little bit so it's a little less harsh. I also bring that through the eye socket a little bit as well to deepen it up ever so slightly. Then I'm going to go in and clean up the wing liner a little bit. So I go in with concealer and a little eye concealer brush. And just crisping up the edges so I get rid of any shadow that's kind of come underneath it. And just clean it, clean it up so it's nice and define a little bit more neat. Then I go in with a bit of the Jax and Hunt shades and smoke out the edges of the wing liner just on the outer corner bit. And voila you should have a little something like this. <laughs> Next for lashes I'm going to take my usual which is my favorite ride or die lashes at the moment. They are from the Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics line and they are called Perfectly or Pleasantly Plump 2. I just love them because they're wispy on the outer corner and a bit shorter on the inner corner. So they really complement that cat eye look. To add a bit more glam to this eye look, I'm actually going in with some liquid eyeshadow from the same uh, Beauty, Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. It's in the shade Donna. And I'm applying it with an eyeliner brush to the cut crease area where the eyeshadow is and also along the outer corner of my wing. And I'll also bring it on the bottom inner corner of my eye. Uh, but I'll do that in a little bit. Uh, just with this step, I actually wished I'd done the liquid eyeshadow before I put lashes on because trying to see behind those really full voluptuous lashes was quite hard. So just a little st uh, tip for you guys, make sure you do the liquid eyeshadow step, like the glitter cut crease bit, before you put lashes on. <laughs> then I go in and extend my inner corner like I told you guys I was going to do. 
Then I go in and line my waterline and I'm going in with the espresso eye pencil from Makeup Geek. I don't know if that's still available, um, but any brown eye color will do. And I just line my waterline with that and drag it a little bit under my bottom lashes. Then to smoke out the bottom lash line, I go in with those brown tones and just deepen up the outer corner, kind of smoking it towards the inner corner. And then as I go along, I go in with lighter browns and lighter browns to smoke out the uh, bottom lash line because I don't want it to be any harsh lines or anything like that. I want it to be quite smoky and soft. Then I go in with the Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow again in Donna. And I just align that kind of inner corner uh, tear duct area with that glittery eyeshadow. And then for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going in with Beam from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And just applying that to the very inner point and the highest point of my brow and inner corners. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with some bottom lash mascara. I'm going in with the Raw Cosmetics Volumizing Mascara. And for lips today, I'm first of all going in with a lip liner. This is actually the eye color that we used on our bottom like waterline area. Um, but I want to use it as like a little kind of guide for the deep red lipstick that we're, going, that we're going to go in with next. And I'm taking this gorgeous deep, very like burgundy red from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. It's a just a beautiful color and the formula is amazing they're matte liquid lipsticks i'm just going in and filling in my lips with that and i just feel like it complements this eye look so well like a deep red lip with a glam smoky liner like you can't beat that i just love it so much i will leave the shade of the liquid lipstick down below i think it's called von Sk scripts or something I'll, I'll leave it down below von strips i can't remember sorry but yeah i'll leave it linked down below with all the other products that i use today let me know if you guys did like this video, if you want to see it more looks like this or you want more colourful, more neutral, more wearable, like let me know. Otherwise, have a great week. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.